हेलो एवरीवन प्लीज वेलकम एंड जॉइन मी जी स्टेप्स कुकिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू बेसन के लड्डू इन टिपिकल पंजाबी बेसन के लड्डू आई एम गोइंग टू यूज 3 कप ऑफ बेसन देसी घी 1 कप और अनसाल्टेड बटर 1 कप शुगर एंड दिस विल बी ऑप्शनल आई एम कीपिंग इट वन बट इट्स गुड टू गो विद द रेशियो हाफ टू द बेसन लाइक 1 एंड 1/2 बट एज़ फॉर दिस रेसिपी 1 एंड 1/2 विल बी ओके बट आई एम कीपिंग इट वन 4 टेबलस्पून स्लाइस्ड आलमंड 4 टेबलस्पून सूजी रवा सेमोलेना हाफ टी स्पून cotton powder it's really important that when you are making a laddu you need to have a besan like a coarse you don't want to use a fine besan like this real fine the reason we don't use a really fine besan for laddu because then it will stick on your mouth and let's start at the hard work we going to bring a kadai start we gas we going to keep the flame on a medium bring desi ghee or unsalted butter I'm going to bring semolina and I'll bring besan. We're going to mix it. Once it's fully mixed, now it's really important. Please keep stirring. It does not take that long to burn. Cooking our besan for five minutes. So we're going to cook our besan another five minutes until it's fully cooked. Cooking for ten minutes with the medium low heat, and our besan is fully cooked. I can smell nice aroma in my kitchen. And now I'm going to bring almonds, elachi powder. While mixing, I will bring my gas to low. So make sure that is fully mixed. So our besan is fully cooked. I'll take it out. I'll turn the gas off. I'll transfer this one into the bowl. Now it's really important that we're going to let it uh, cool down. The reason we need to let it cool down so when we're going to make a laddu so we can handle it won't uh, burn our hands. We don't want to add the sugar at this moment because it will melt right away. So we're going to wait until it's uh, kind of warm so we can handle it. Right now if I can touch it it's uh, hot. I still can touch it but uh, it's really hot. So our besan is cooled down. It's still warm but I can handle it. and now it's time to bring a sugar so now we're going to mix it the best thing to do when we are mixing it we have to mix it by hand so I'll take a couple minutes to mix it so it's still warm you can use a spatula or something to mix it i'm going to give a one more minute so it can cool down it's a kind of warm at the bottom once it's fully mixed then we're going to make a laddus yes now it's cooled down i can handle it one thing i like to share that uh, when you're making laddu if the laddus are like this fine but if it's uh, like a little bit of brittle you can add one to two tablespoon desi ghee on salted butter what it will do that uh, it will bind better this one looks perfect this is without uh, ghee we make it So once it's nicely fully mixed, then we're going to do the same process. So now, so grab it like this, and then we're going to press it. As you press it, like a round shape. So once uh, this one is made, I'm going to transfer into the plate. As I'm making this one, and I'm going to do continue the same process with the rest of it. It's a kind of a time-consuming process, but uh, eventually, once it's uh, done, then uh, it pays off. And uh, this is the way you keep doing it. so you keep continuing doing the same process you have to keep pressing it because uh, once you pressurize it then it becomes like a perfect uh, shape and then you can uh, do it like this you know keep rolling like this few times just like that and that gives you more round shape like this perfect so it will give you shape like this so i'll finish up the rest besan ke laddu or besan de laddu is all done The best thing is uh, before serving you let it sit on a counter top for at least uh, half an hour to 1 hour then you will enjoy it more. So I hope uh, you like the besan ke laddu and uh, merry christmas to you all and I really appreciate uh, bottom of my heart for all the subscriber out there and non subscriber as well who are watching easy steps and motivating me to bring you things in easy steps. If you like it indeed please give me like subscribe and share. Thank you. Bye bye.